turn off my oh yeah hello guys welcome back to my channel so guys today you guys will be using the world cup and the final spot the ending part full day of Fortnite action so really quickly let's just recap everything that's gone down starting with oceania just a quick refresher to, to remind you who is coming through from every single region from oce it's serpent and hype i mean sundown you stayed up late you watched these games are you surprised they played incredibly well. I mean, from start to finish, they were on fire. It was seven matches. They averaged just below a top three finish, 2.67 going on there. I mean, we talk about point efficiency. They did it all. It was brilliant for them. You have to feel a little bit of heartbreak there for Jalen and Skyla, as well as Zora and Geese. They were so close in so many of the weeks, OC proving that the top level of competition, the names that we saw every single week in the top 10 in both solos and duos those guys are definitely a step above the rest and now they get to come to the stage fortnite world cup finals now we're going to move on to asia don't forget we also had qualifiers coming out from there that happened this morning while we we're all asleep unless you're signing you're a maniac can stay awake uh, again so i'm gonna send this your way because <laughs> You know, you, you have the infinite insight on these things. What do you think about Flame and Unique? So Flame and Unique, it was really cool to watch because again, people have talked about moving literally where they live or going to different land centers to try and get better ping. And this is a Southeast Asia team playing from Vietnam. They said in the semifinals, like GG high ping, by the way, placing in the top 10. And then they turned around and their style was high on execution, rifle fire together, loot up safe, and then get key rotations. Incredibly proud of him. I actually was able to talk with Unique just a little bit over DMs afterward, and he was just saying, I'm so incredibly happy. I didn't think we'd be able to do it. Just getting to this point and being able to represent and being the first and only Vietnamese team on that stage, like just huge shout outs to you guys. Well, there you go. You like to see it. Of course, we're gonna keep things rolling. Europe was the next region up on deck. I mean, Wolfies and Rojo, uh, Bob the, the, this, first of all, Europe's insane. We know it's the best region. We know it's the best region, all right? Big words. Big words. It's Big the words, best region. Especially ahead of New York. We're going to have that competition play out right in front of us. But yeah, Wolfies and Rojo, they were up at the top of the beginning of the leaderboards, Zeke, and then they fell a little bit, but then climbed right back up to get in that first place. That is awesome to see. And then the rest of these guys as well, Sky and Vato, they've been playing out of their minds, trying to contain towards that top spot, getting ninth two weeks in a row. And then finally, it's kind of the same story as Zexor. He's overcoming tendonitis as well. And he had a long post on Twitter earlier in French about his, his journey, his confidence, uh, struggles, and to break it right here in the last week is unbelievable. Man, for sure. And also, got a, got a shout out. I was going to say. Another yeah. one of the controller game. Yeah. <laughs> Joining up say. in there. Him and Vorin clutching up. And then Singularity, Thomas HD, and then Klusha being a full qualifier as well. So big shout outs to him and Skype hitting that mark. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Next region up was Brazil. Shio, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you and lean on you for this. You know, we see Exxon coming through and King. Now, of course, there's several Kings here, but nine Z's King. This is actually a duel that you mentioned when we interviewed, and you said these guys are someone to look out for. Absolutely, it's just they didn't find their footing all the way till the end weeks, like week nine to week ten, week eight to week ten. So it's dope to see that they found out what worked solos and duos wise, and you know they just popped off, which is amazing for that region as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now next up is NA East Pooks. I'm coming your way for these results. Don't forget, we had Slacks, Keys, FN, Zexro, and Vinny, of course, and Young Calculator, and Macwood coming through. And again, we see Zayn and Saf do it all over again, qualify again. Zayn and Saf, no surprise seeing them up there. Same with, uh, you know, Calculator, having that interview with him and Macwood earlier, just seeing how excited they were, you know, telling their families, their moms cried. This is a huge deal for so many of these players. And to be able to give that to them, to say, you know what, join us in New York, come play Fortnite with us, you know, do your best. You know, Slacks and Keys, we saw so many of their games today. They popped off. These guys knew that this was the last week they had to qualify, and they definitely brought the heat. Yeah, for sure. And of course, with that, wraps up the entire day. But first, we've got to punch the final ticket to New York City coming out of NA West. I mean, I feel like, can I, do you guys mind if I do this one? I mean, Shy should do it. He's, you know what? <laughs> He's our guest. Yes. He's our guest. Absolutely, Shy, you will be the one to punch the ticket. Let's do this, Shy. Now, of course, guys, don't Dr. Lupo him, remember. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, it's all Shy's fault if that happens. 
Boom! Hey, there it is. Congratulations <laughs> to Epic Whale and 4DR Storm. And they complete the full qualification now as well in the final moments. Both of them qualified for solos and now duos. And we will actually have an opportunity to talk to the full qualifier, the final qualifier for the Fortnite Battle Royale World Cup. It's Epic Whale. Whale, how you doing, my man? Yeah, I'm doing good. I mean, good is an understatement. You guys <laughs> put on an absolute show today. So first question I have to ask you, uh, what's up What's up with your duo? We haven't seen uh, you and Storm play together before. So uh, what was going on there? Um, yeah, I just wanted to switch things up. And I just was thinking about all my options as a duo. And uh, for me, I was just looking for a duo that can kind of fill in to my weaknesses. And 40R is really good mechanically and at aiming. And like I'm kind of like the brains of the duo. Um, so I just thought it would work out well, and we practice hard, and here we are, you know? <laughs> it's crazy. No, I think that was an absolutely impressive performance. So how does it feel to be a full qualifier now? You've qualified for duos, you'll be there in solos, you'll be seating in both parts of that competition. Has it kind of hit you yet? Do you 